Hi folks. This is a little project I got interested in uh, a few months ago and uh, it's with the uh, fluid bed sluices and I decided to build one that was kind of similar to the little uh, bazooka mini and use it for a recirculation sluice and so this is kind of uh, the results of what I've been doing with it. This is the second generation and so uh, the third generation is just about finished and so I will be putting it up on uh, YouTube as well here. Most of the material that I get is only uh, in a two and a half gallon or a five gallon bucket. I'm not fortunate enough to live in an area where you can set up a big sluice and uh, just run it for hours on end. If we get a five gallon bucket worth uh, enough material to run, we're doing pretty good. So that's why uh, this little uh, recirculating unit is probably, probably, <laughs> excuse me, ideal for me. It has a number of features that I've built in uh, so I can kind of play around with this. And one of them is a removable Grizzly. As you can see here, get an idea a little bit of how it's built. And the tubes inside are three quarter inch or half inch on this one. It's three quarter inch on my new one there. And so this gives me the opportunity to play with a fluid bed sluice and uh, see what features I like and don't like about them. I have two grizzlies for it. One is a flat grizzly, which you have just seen, and these just slide into place like that. The other one is a traditional grizzly like you usually see on the bazookas and those similar to that. And so that one is pretty much uh, like you see on your bazookas. And this is a little diverter so that it will push the material kind of further down into the fluid bed. This is a diverter that I made to uh, force the material down inside the bed a little further and it slides in like that. And if you want to experiment with the depth of the diverter, you can raise it up until you don't have any diversion whatsoever. So that way you can explore the uh, benefits of a diverter pushing the material from the bed down into the fluid bed. One of the reasons I wanted a small one like this also was that I can carry it in a two and a half gallon bucket and clean it up in a two and a half gallon bucket. As you see, it'll fit in there just fine. I don't need to carry a, a five gallon bucket. So the two and a half worked just beautifully for me. This will give you an idea of uh, the water setup on there. I can just hook up two hoses and hook them up to my pump and uh, I can control the water to each one of them individually through a Y valve on there. And so I can increase or decrease either one or shut them off entirely. We'll have some videos on, on that as well here later. You can see here, there is a little bit of a gap between the wire and uh, the slick plate. And this will allow the finer sand and stuff to uh, go down without getting having to go across. The this is just a quick preview of the, the one I'm working on now, the next generation. It will have a few changes made to it, and it has some of the same features as well. 
However, some of the things that I wanted to change on the old one, I just decided to incorporate those in the new one here. This one will have a lot of the same features that the old one did. Number one, the removable Grizzly. And it will also have the removable tubes so that you can change them out or adjust them for water flow, whichever uh, you would like. This one will be able to be used in the stream as well as a recirculating. It's still undergoing construction, but I will have a couple of videos up on it here later on if you're interested. This is a view of the recirculation plumbing. And that will just pop out like that so that it can be used in the stream as well. So that's kind of some of the highlights of this one. And uh, when I get the videos finished on it, I'll be putting them up as well. The wood I like to use for my prototypes is just plain old cedar fencing that you can buy in any uh, big box store. I like it because it's cheap and uh, easy to work with, very soft wood. You need to take a sander to it and smooth it down or you can leave it just rough and plain as is on there. But I make these prototypes and uh, probably I'll make three or four of them so it can get quite expensive to put that much money into exotic wood. When I get the final design down then I will build it out of some nicer wood. And also this makes some smaller versions which uh, are easier to work with. This is kind of my setup that I have here that I use for just sitting around home and uh, you can kind of see I've got my pump, my battery, and uh, sluice all set up to drain into a bucket. Well, we'll run a little material through this and let you see how it works without the Grizzly. This will give you kind of an idea how the flow goes with it. This has uh, been screened to 8 mesh or 1 eighth of an inch and so with a 600 gallon per hour pump this is probably about the maximum this can handle. If you will notice the slick plate has been cut at a 45 degree angle. This allows the sand and material to just flow right down that uh, face and directly into the back of the fluid bed. Here you can see that the fluid bed is working perfectly and I can stick my finger all the way to the bottom of the uh, fluid bed. With the fluid bed turned off you can see that I can hardly stick my finger down into the sand at all. This will uh, give you an idea of what it looks like with the Grizzly on there, how it runs. These rocks haven't been screened out of here, it's just whatever comes out of the bucket. If you'll notice that that little gap between the wire and the slick plate allows the fine sand to just scoot down 
through that little crack and then the rocks fall on the grizzly. To do a clean out on it, I usually pull the grizzly if I have it in there. And then it only takes just a minute here to empty everything out. So it doesn't take long at all to be right back into business again. This has an oversized uh, fluid trap on it, so it will hold a fair amount of uh, material in there. Yeah, let's drop the diverter in there and play with that for a minute and uh, show you kind of how things go with it in there. One of the grizzlies I have here is a little one with a diverter built into it. So I think I'll give that one a try here. This is your traditional grizzly type that uh, comes on the bazookas. So uh, I'll give it a try here for a little bit. Got a little pump hiccup there.
Well, it would appear that I need a little, quite a bit, little, more than a little, water pressure to uh, clean the grizzly off on the traditional type there. So I'm not so sure that that works real well for the uh, recirculation.